it or take it best believe that dating is a game show it's not every relationship you should envy and trade as a mark and I can remember a guy that I loved so much you know uh, telling me that I was too good for him and I knew that that was just a flimsy excuse to not be committed in whatsoever relationship that we had going it did hurt me for a while but he ghosted me after that years after he comes back and I'm like nah no explanation whatsoever they're just gone poof Now, we all have been ghosted at some point in our lives by people we love and are crushing on, and that could be really heart-wrenching, honestly. You send them messages, and you get put on red with no response at all, or they respond to you after many hours or days. Now, the question is, how long do you leave it before you can officially say that you've been ghosted? What's the time limit? Days, weeks, months? or even years because I think time frame don't seem to cut it at all there should be an official unit of measurement to tell you how worried you should be that they haven't gotten back to you yet and of course when I say they I mean men or if we're feeling extra petty I would say boys because and little boys are that because grown men don't ghost people that seem to have genuine interest in them all right uh, they don't because Look, it's harder nowadays to disappear into thin air with red receipts, little blue ticks, seen last online at so so and so, at so so and so time. You know, we're constantly being tracked on these apps. So when you're ghosted, you know, even your gut tells you so, regardless of how many excuses we oftentimes want to give this men. And don't get me wrong, I think that women ghost men more than men ghost women. I just feel like women are receiving that ripple effect were receiving that pushback from men and I just need to put it out there so you don't think oh come on now you're just a sexist no I do know that women ghost men a lot and there is just something so willful about ghosting it's presumed passiveness he just stops replying you he just stops calling you yo it's that's just a passive aggressive act and as far as i'm concerned that's how avoidance techniques go it is breathtakingly audacious maybe maybe a bit cowardly and spectacular in its simplicity no blocking of numbers no final showdown no slamming of the doors no explanation whatsoever they're just gone poof vaporized so you may be wondering why is this such a man thing now this is what i have come to sum up after placing one or two puzzles together right from an early age men are conditioned not to show signs of weakness and sadly that includes showing their feelings men are taught not to cry they're given messages like man up or be a big boy you're a big boy big boys don't cry and truth be told ladies we can now see that it's no wonder that with most men empathy seems to be deeply buried and you would have to dig in layers upon layers of brick walls to get them there especially if they haven't built a deeper connection with you because you're most likely to be ghosted by men or by guys who haven't you know falling neck deep in love with you than the one who has okay maybe it's a little more complex than that and if you're scratching your head wondering what went wrong in your relationship and why he started ghosting you now here's what i think might be the situation um, behind that heartless silence behind the phone or whatever mode of communication that you both use all right first i like to think that the rule of dating are changing and getting confusing these days we have the world being awash with terrible dating gurus pumping out mixed messages here and there ordering us to get in touch with our feelings giving us rules on who should text first it's just a minefield of gibberish advice out here plus putting into consideration the fact that in the sexual arena traditionally men have this free reign with the so-called love them and leave them mentality something that by treating women so mean you could get women to be so keen you could get women to chase you and so you see men taking that kind of advice and running with it and damaging their reputation and hurting what could be what what could have been real and then secondly men sometimes tend to ghost women because it's hard to break break up in person because the truth is some people can't stand up and say how they're really feeling in a certain situation in that relationship it takes a great deal of confidence and it's also a power thing when you cut someone dead and have the ultimate last word 
it's a power thing there's also this inescapable reality that a face-to-face -face breakup leads to questions like why what did I, what what did I do wrong what went wrong and nobody wants to tell the truth or hear it for that matter all right so if a man hasn't felt comfortable communicating that his needs aren't being met he might prefer to blow it up in your face by you know his actions by just not responding to you rather than just look demanding or risk being dumped by you so invariably ghosting isn't so much about communicating about how we are not interested but it's somewhat about demonstrating how poorly the communication skills have been from the very start all right and then thirdly texting is somewhat ruder I think so they just go blank on you instead of texting because it's harder to be confrontational honestly and if we don't want to say goodbye face to face the only alternative is to do it over the phone of course it's viewed as being petty cold and thoughtless but most guys don't like argument and they don't like to go round and round beat around the bush and talk about what went wrong and what could have been said or done right they just want to be done with done dusted with the work the whole situation and just move on carry on to the next phase of their lives or with whosoever they deem it fit to be in a relationship with but the question is if you don't break it clean would you be ready for the scary side effect of ghosting like the back and forth text messages which could be the catalyst for years of bitterness you know half-hearted booty call that drunken occasional periods of I love you text messages coming to you or calls or occasional body part pictures being sent to you while you're in a a new relationship because that can be really serious so a clean breakup is always better than ghosting it's just pretty much immature that you're ghosting instead of just taking the mature route and the fourth reason why I think he tends to ghost you is when he thinks that you're too good for him and this is what any quick thinking man would tell you should he bump into you in public and then you ask him why he ghosted you but the funny thing is that there may be some element of truth in it because a typical ghoster might just suffer anxiety or a lack of self-worth so maybe he feels like he's far-reaching or maybe he he's just a player and he's with someone else and I can remember a guy that I loved so much you know uh, telling me that I was too good for him and I knew that that was just a flimsy excuse to not be committed in whatsoever relationship that we had going it did hurt me for a while but he ghosted me after that years after he comes back and I'm like nah cuz bro I haven't changed that much from being good so what is it it's never going to work cuz look if you left or I left there is no way that I'm going back to my ex you cease to exist anymore so guys be careful how you ghost you may just have ghosted someone that you could have, you know, gotten married to or you could have gotten into a better relationship with after going out, skimming your ways through people, finding out that there is nothing out there for you. You now see that the person that you ghosted is someone that you could have spent the rest of your life with. It doesn't make any sense. So be careful if you're that sort of man who ghosts a lot. You will be ghosting and regretting it after a while. Because not everything that you see out there is greener. Not everything that looks greener is actually greener, all right? Not all the glitters is gold. I hope you remember that. And not all relationship that you see out there is perfect. It's not every relationship you should envy and trade as a mark to attain. Number five, men ghost women when they are worried about being caught in their own lies. We live in a world where people leave fake lives and they pose in front of material things that are in theirs and all around they just fake it till they make it. They have that sort of fake it till you make it kind of, you know, um, ideology going on. And you see people are generally trying to be like the people that they are not so that they can impress other people. So let's just assume that he's that guy that may have pushed it too far and is worried that you will keep asking him when you finally get to see his home, when you're finally going to spin in his Range Rover and he doesn't have it. So in order not for you to find out the real person that he is, he just ghosts you. That's it. And number six, he's ghosting you because he's keeping his options open. Take it or take it. Best believe that dating is a game show. You never know how it's going to go. And thanks to all of these apps, pitching in a new love interest every millisecond you get to see them, it's just easier for you to edge your bet. And that's where the problem lies. You get on social media and it's like a giant candy store. You don't like the flavor that you're on. You go try another, it's free. There are plenty more to go around and everybody is just doing so. So what's the harm in it? And you see ghosting is a 
perfect solution when you meet someone that's not what you want so in order to meet another person you have to go to the other one now here's the thing if men never actually say it's over and they keep stringing you along this is what happens in your head they string you along because they think if it doesn't work out with someone else maybe it will be perfectly fine months later down the lane to show up at your doorstep again and you will just fall right back into that position that they once had you in and I know this because that was what that guy was trying to do to me but I think I'm the one ghosting his ass right now and it's not from a place of hate it's not from a place of revenge it's truly I have actually moved on and I can't turn back from the better options that he has allowed me to see do you get what I mean that's it if you let them go there is always going to be a tendency for them to see a better option and wonder to themselves why did i even give so much why did i even invest so much emotion trying to get this guy when there are other options out there because the truth is there are always going to be better options out there so be careful who you're ghosting and number seven he tends to ghost you because he doesn't realize he's doing anything wrong maybe he's too selfish to realize how hurtful his actions are or maybe he has issues of his own in the background because i tell you a ghost may come from an unstable background and find it hard to really maintain that lasting meaningful connection or they just have little concept of empathy to others and that often time may indicate an underlying mental health problem going on with them so don't you ever think that it's your fault that they're ghosting you especially if you've been in your best behavior it's him not you and to the men who ghost women listen to this truth you may be more likely to ghost if you've experienced abandonment yourself mm -hmm. and that's on period that's on period listen ladies if he's an egomaniac only looking out for numero uno he's not going to think too hard about the damage that he might be causing you so please here's a problem you're not the problem and it has nothing absolutely to do with you all right and number nine he does the ghosting thing because he's a piece of shit and that's probably the main reason to be honest because look if you've been ghosted you will feel numb you will feel lost full of questions and maybe an uncontrollable urge to break the silence and trust me this is normal all right this is normal for you wanting to break the silence and that's because you've been robbed of your movement you've been left in the limbo trust me it's justifiable to allow yourself to feel and act out accordingly like any other breakup because it's unfair to be treated in that way although they've taken that power away there's room to consider how you give your power to anyone else for a second time so bear in mind that anyone who ghosts you isn't ready to commit to adulting it's just that simple and as a woman who have experienced this ask yourself do you want that quality of person in your life that one person who is not bold enough to tell you how they feel about the relationship or the situation going on in that relationship. I just think perhaps you have dodged a bullet and you need to thank God for revealing on time. And to this end, I would like to admonish you if you're a serial ghoster, you could change. You don't have to be the ghosting villain story shared around tables. I try to always consider the underlying meaning behind terminating relationship suddenly. And also try to explore whether there was a discrepancy while learning from other relationships when you were a child. Try to practice honesty with other parties in yourself. It's an honorable thing to do so. And then ask yourself some tough questions. All right? Ask yourself some tough questions. Why am I ghosting people? Why am I ghosting this woman? Why is it that I am not brave enough to talk about why I don't feel it at the moment? And be honest with yourself. Would you like to be treated this way? Or would you love your girl child or your sisters to be treated like that by other men? Yes or no? Yes? If no, then show a little bit of empathy in the privacy of your own phone and be a man of integrity and character to graciously take a bow when you feel like it or when you're not feeling it and allow for some closure for this ladies because the truth is her sanity is as important as much as yours all right please and thank you for watching see you on my next video Mwah.